It's time to feed the trolls. <laughs> Hey guys, it's me, Cute Fuzzy Weasel. Spending yet another Halloween down here in, uh, hell. Or, you know, hell adjacent. It's been a wild year, folks, and honestly, I'm kinda once again gonna have to apologize for my lack of output. I know I could say I've been busy and all that shit, but to be honest, it's kinda due to me going through a lot of stuff right now. See, recently I've kind of discovered that I've not really been, I don't know, paying attention to my needs. You know, I've, I've been doing a bunch of things for other people and not really taking time for myself. And I think a lot of that has to do with some Weasel. things that I've repressed. Oh shit! God! Fuck! Creepy. Fucking weird shit. Dicks. Leaf ass fuck. What the fuck are you? It is I, Pumpkey McPumperson. Pumpkey McPump. Aren't you supposed to be dead? Like, aren't you canonically dead? I was, but I fought my way back from the afterlife. I ascended the dark mountain and did battle with the demons there. Through a trial of keys, I was able to summon together my constituent parts and recreate my original body. Then, with arcane necromancy, I assume. So this is where I am now. The bowels of hell, 31 years the old, world. trapped underground, yet there were talking to a pump. Tales to come, for I had to participate in the rite of Malshara. If I had applied myself, I could have been a youths. fucking brain surgeon I by have now. I've seen the ancient truths of the mystic world. I don't know why I'm checking my watch, I don't have one. So great, okay. Pumpkey McPunkerson, ladies and gentlemen, he's alive again. It's great, awesome. Cool, well you can go now. Wait, Weasel! But, oh God! That pumpkin there is an imposter. I'm the real Pumpkey McPumperson. He is clearly an imposter. I am the real Pumpkey McPumperson. No, you are clearly the fake. No one could possibly fall for your pathetic disguise. You look nothing like a pumpkin. You're more like a dish towel or a corn cob. So anyway, feeding the trolls. Do you see this image here? Why, yes, I can see that image there. Because you're showing it to me. With this half goat, half man. But all lover. I believe I told you all about a supernatural experience that I had. Why is there a 3D model of a tick underneath that picture of Pan? What exactly are you looking up when you're not looking at Greek mythology? Some people call them dreams, but your dreams are not dreams. No, I'm pretty sure they're dreams. Your dreams are real. My dreams are real. I really had a conversation with a cartoon squirrel three nights ago. I agree, Weasel. This guy is being completely ridiculous. Dreams are obviously not reality. I guess... Reality right now is not really bearing out my point, but my point still stands. Your dreams are supernatural. No, my dreams are a result of my brain purging unnecessary data that's accumulated during the course of a day, which recently has resulted in a, a lot of really trippy shit. And I believe I was telling you all about... Cuts of lamb? When you have sex dreams, those sex dreams are real. If sex dreams are real, then that's pretty bad news, because I don't remember any of my dreams ever involving a condom, so chances are I might have caught a couple of dream diseases, or... Oh god, I might have some dream children floating around. They are not fake. A while before, I thought that... They were not real, but... But then I microwaved my head. They are real. Got anything else to add to that? So, to get to my point, I believe I was telling you all about... <clears throat> 
You're right. I remember our conversation about... <clears throat> this dream that I was having about a woman. That's okay, dude. We, we don't need to know about your dream. We're, we're good. As if I was going to have sex with her. I have never heard anybody describe sex in such an unappealing manner. But the thing that happened, which never really happens, I guess. Except you just said that dreams are real, so... When I touched this woman... When you touched this woman... I started to feel back and forth on her leg. Okay, well, I guess we had an awesome conversation today, people. I'll uh, deal with the two pumpkins and figure out which one's the real one, like it's some weird Star Trek shoot the real clone or whatever. What, what's that movie called? But whatever. It's been a fun episode, everybody. Happy Halloween. And her leg did not feel like a human's leg. Well, maybe you were having a dream about having sex with something that's not human. Certainly not something I would just share out there on YouTube, but hey. Take a look at this picture here with this man goat. You mean a satyr. It's a thing from Greek mythology. It actually says it right there, so... Probably not a sex dream demon. Do you see this hinged part right here of the leg here? Then it goes down. Yeah, I'm really hoping there's going to be a point to this. When I was feeling on this woman's leg, now it looked like a human's leg, but the way that it felt, it felt like I was rubbing on an animal's leg. So my point is, when you have sex in these dreams, you are having sex with demons. Okay, hypothetical here, but what if while you were dreaming, your hand was just moving across your own body and you touched like, you know, your knee, you know, and you were like feeling your own leg, which is hairy, I presume, because most guys have hairy legs, and uh, you felt your own knee, but in your dream, it felt like, you know, the hinged part of a goat knee. Just maybe, I mean, you got, you got, it's, it's not too out there, and maybe if you compare it to the to the options that we've gotten so far in this you know scenario either a you were feeling on your own leg in a dream where that kind of thing happens all the time actually to people or uh, or option b it's a sex demon that's invaded your skull and gotten into your dream and gotten you to feel up on its weird demon leg and now it's living inside your brain, stealing all your sex secrets. Now those two options, which is more likely? Well, to be fair, Weasel, you do live next to hell. Just ignore the fact that I do live next to hell, so it, it does lend credence to option B. But ignoring that fact... And also, you're talking to a demon. No, you're the demon. No, you're the demon. Yes, and ignoring the fact that I'm currently talking to one or more demons, because I haven't ruled that out, that you're both just demons, or it might be that you're figments of my imagination. There might be a gas leak in here, and I'm just hallucinating two talking pumpkins. It wouldn't be the first time. You are having sex with spirits. So, because you had a weird dream involving, let's just say, a goat, okay? That means all sex dreams are actually succubi or mancubi 
I think that's the the term going into your brain to make you feel up on their legs. Okay, I mean that makes sense. I I see no no issue with that logic. They are demons. When I was rubbing on that woman's leg, I was feeling this hinge part here. That is actually the ankle bone. Um, it's kind of interesting. Uh, goats are digitigrade, which means they walk on what we uh, consider our toes. And then the heel arch is that long piece of leg that comes up. And then that kind of joint there, that's actually where our heel is. So the more you know, whatever you call that. And I was feeling all the way, perhaps all the way down here. So you were feeling all the way down to just shy of the hoof, which lends credibility to my assessment that you were actually feeling your own leg and you got all the way down. You can't see it, but all the way down to your ankle. Okay. Just realize what this kind of looks like. I swear to God, I'm just holding my leg here, okay? But you got all the way down to your ankle, and then you were, you. I presume you stopped. So you didn't have time to feel your own foot, which actually probably would have made the dream way stranger. And I forget, but I believe that demon's leg was cold. I don't know exactly what time of year you recorded this, but it's entirely possible that uh, maybe your leg was cold. It's possible that maybe your leg slipped from out underneath a cover and you were feeling on it and it felt cold to you because it was cold in the room. Just maybe that's a thing. Like, you know, on a human's body, at least on many places, their body is going to be warm. Not all the time. I mean, certainly in the core places, like the face is usually very warm. The trunk of the body is usually very warm, but the extremities can get cold. And just for example, I'll touch my own arm and I swear I will be totally objective in this. Yeah, I mean, it's a, it's a little cool. It feels room temperature you know the longer i keep my hand on it the warmer it gets but yeah i mean if it was really cold and i felt my own arm and my arm had been just exposed to the air for a while like if i had been say sleeping and i felt it then yeah it might feel a little cool yeah oh you know what? i'm i'm sorry obviously obviously i'm wrong and really it was a demon that was getting into your brain and making you fuck it. I, I'm sorry. I should just resign my whole commission and go back to turnip farming or whatever I did before the apocalypse happened. No, this demon's leg was cold. Sure, buddy. All right, fine. You, you were feeling up on a demon and its leg was cold. I don't know why a demon's leg would be cold considering they live in hell where it is kind of hot so why their leg would be cold maybe demons are reptilian and they have cold blood which i guess kind of makes sense if you're in an environment that's always warm there's no reason to maintain endothermy it's a very energy costly um, biological process and that's why lizards like to bask um but then again if there is no cooler spot in hell, then it might be a detriment, but I don't know. If there are any biologists in the comments below. So this demon was in the shape of a human woman, but when I started to feel on that demon, on that demon's leg or human, human girl's leg, but it was a demon, you know, I had no idea that the story of how someone got tricked into fucking a dream demon could ever be told in a way that made it so fucking boring. But somehow you managed to do it. I felt 
this animal's goat's leg or whatever you call it. Yes, some rando had a dream about touching on a woman's leg. Therefore, demons is real! So this is more proof that you don't want to... My lord. Uh, what are you doing? That, that sounded like a... Like a, like a sensual, oh my lord. I, uh... I remember having a friend. I remember having a friend too, but to be honest, friends are overrated. Now that doesn't need a more you know. This particular friend, and she was really into Randy Orton. Who? Randy Orton. Fuck, all right, uh, show me a picture of Randy. Oh, God damn. Okay, yeah, I can see why she'd be into Randy Horton. And she would tell me that every so often, I believe she would have sex dreams about him. Well, one, I, I really hope she gave you permission to tell other people about that. And two, uh, you know, maybe, and you know, again, hear me out, maybe, uh, someone who fantasizes about a certain person like Randy Orton here all the time might have a uh, dream about Randy Orton every now and again. Maybe that's a thing that just happens naturally and does not require fucking blitzo. And I forget how the conversation went. Then don't talk about it. But whether the person is a demon or not. Whether the person is a demon or not. Are there other things that can get into your head and make you dream about them? Are the ghouled real too? Let me not say it because I actually forget how the conversation went. So why'd you bring it up there, slugger? I don't remember how the conversation went, but I do remember her telling me about her period, and I'll share that with all of you. So, no matter what form the demon take, it is a demon. Or you're stressed and you're lonely and tired, and your brain is just fucked up anyway because that's how brains are. So if you are dreaming about a woman or a man that you may have interest in or a woman or a man that you've never seen before, it is a demon. You have to understand this. You need to... I believe I made another video about this. Yeah, I believe this person has because they post literally all the fucking time. Which, you know, if your video content is literally just your voice over a picture, I can see how posting a bunch would be very easy for you. Sometimes I think maybe the reason I don't post enough is because I overcomplicate my production. Maybe I would just be better off if I made videos just sitting in the fucking chair, just talking to the camera. Post in the comments below if you think maybe I should just make some videos where I'm just sitting in a fucking chair just talking. Maybe my life would be easier if I did that. If, what the fuck is that? Son of a. Oh, it's a reading. It's a thing on the camera. I, I thought it was a big bug. I may place it in the comment section about what to say each day before you go to sleep. Dear Lord, please do not let a demon jump my bone tonight. Please may I remain tired and sexless all the days of my life, living down here. Hooray! Now I don't have to worry about sex dreams anymore. Thanks, random YouTuber! I was contacting this woman, and this woman said to me that her dreams are becoming worse. Maybe she is stressed, or maybe it's a sex mantis that's crawled inside of her nose. Better check it out.
we need to fight back against our demonic dreams. So I pray that this makes sense. God bless you. Well, your prayer failed because this didn't make any sense whatsoever and was a stupid, incoherent mess. All right, so I guess it's time to figure out which one of the things is the real thing because this is what my life is now. Well, clearly it is me. You wish it was you. Clearly I am the superior pumpkin and the real one. No, soon you will be found out and be made into pie. Stop. I know how to solve this. How? It's easy. I walk away, and you two figure it out on your own. But uh, who, how will, I don't understand. You're supposed to make that decision. You're supposed to decide which of us is real. This is a terrible option. No, I think it's the best option, because if the real you wins, then you can presumably go away. And if the demon fake you wins, it was a stupid subplot anyway. So, I mean, you know. I mean, no one really cares.